This is Queen the Greatest, and in this episode we celebrate another vital element of any Queen's song or performance, the drum sound. The initial foundation of the Queen sound can be traced back to the days of Smile, where Roger and Brian first played together. So this is the first place that Roger and I ever played. I remember him bringing his kit in very carefully, and he set it all up on its stands, and then he started to do something very curious. He was like making little tapping noises and turning knobs. And I, and I went, what are you doing? And he said, I'm tuning the drums. And I went, oh really, you tune drums? Because the drummers that I'd worked with up to that time just basically put the drums down and hit them. But Roger was going around and tuning every little part of each skin so that it would resonate in the right way. So I was kind of impressed. <laughs> Roger's distinctive drumming has always been an integral part of the recording process, whether it be providing a subtle yet solid rhythm or taking centre stage in songs such as I'm in love with my car. With the pistons are pumping And the hubcaps all green And subsequently in the live shows, crowds would be whipped into a frenzy by his extraordinary pace, energy and precision. As is the hallmark of Queen, the drumming contribution evolved over the years, often in unique and surprising ways. But one thing has remained constant. That's Roger's belief that any drum solo should be used sparingly and never outstay its welcome. Drum solos were, were a cliche. In the early 70s, they were a cliche. So, um, and it was just something that one did, you know. And uh, I, I never really honestly enjoyed actual solos. I always really preferred playing as part of the ensemble, part of the band and part of the song, really. And. Uh, Whereas it's all very nice to sort of show, they're just showing off really, aren't they, you know? And especially when you're playing to a lot of people in big concerts, um, you know, if I, if I did a sort of solo and I would suddenly look down and notice people going out for a hot dog, I'd never want to do it again, because you knew that you were boring people. But there's been no danger of that, whether it be on the Queen and Paul Rogers tour with his rendition of Let There Be Drums, <laughs> Or now, in the much anticipated element of the Queen plus Adam Lambert shows, The Drum Battle. A big nice plane in the street Gonna be a big man someday You got mud on your face You big disgrace Kicking your can all over the place Singing We, we 